Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Who Invited Her. We are San Diego's longest running LGBTQ pop culture podcast. I am your host, Tony. And I'm Daddy Bear Eric. <laughs> and? I'm Brynn. Yes, we're all here. You I'm guys, it's again. been a hot minute, we it's know. It's been so long. It's been like, how long? Three I or three weeks? I think we're four weeks. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. It's been a long time since we record y'all, but yeah. we're back. We're back. We're going to actually, I was. I haven't even told you guys about this. What? Um, we only have a couple episodes left before we wrap up the season. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Then we're going to be on season break, um, probably for like a couple weeks, and yeah. then come back yeah. for season seven. Oh, yeah. Can you believe that shit? That's so well, insane. This, so this will be my first full season. Yeah, because yeah. you were guest spotting <laughs> before. <laughs> I was on the outer couch. Outer now couch. Now I'm in the inner couch. Yeah. I'm closer to Andy now. Are you? <laughs> you Wait, are. Wait, am I Andy? You're Andy. Okay. Yeah. I can live with that. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, who would Eric be? Ooh, who's the longest running housewife? I mean, it would have to be from Orange County. What's her name? Are you Vicky? The, yeah, Are the you the Vicky, OG of the OC? The OG of the OC. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking like Teresa G. Okay. I like Teresa. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you would be Teresa. Or that. maybe I'm a Kyle. We would definitely film you and Cesar's wedding. Yeah. <laughs> you guys would have your own. An own offshoot of exactly. his own. Yeah. How would your guys' yeah. wedding be? I don't Are know. Are you guys going to get married? How many parts would it be? One, two, or three? Teresa yeah. only got one. <laughs> one. I think Tamara got two. Yeah. Bethany got like an entire Is season. Is she so relevant? No. Yeah. She's trying so she hard. She has the best Instagram ever. Does it just she? Bethany? goes... It goes off. She had an entire like thirty minute rant about her trying the Olive Garden for the first time. What? Because she's. St- st- let me quote. She says, "In a relationship, you can either have the Olive Garden or you can actually go to Italy. So which one do you want to choose?" And she's st- she's like, "I say this all the time, but I've never been to the Olive Garden. So how could I use that as a comparison?" So she went to the Olive Garden. She ordered like six items, and Please the entire thing it. is her eating the Olive Garden and reviewing it. Dude, what did she say about it? Did she love she it? She loved parts of it and other parts she hated. <laughs> Bryn, what? Please your face. explain to me what that saying is. I we're like I say this all the time. You can either have the Olive So do you want the or... real thing or do you, or you want, want like the, the, the fake oh, impersonation fuck you. of it? Fuck you. That's such a classist. Right, fuck exactly. You. But she mm. did like the Olive Garden. I'm sure <laughs> like, she did. Do you like the Olive Garden? <laughs> I've never been there. I did think I... You know who used to love the Olive Garden? <sighs> who? Rob, producer that Rob. Makes sense. Oh, that makes that sense. Makes sense. I mean, tracks. white people love that shit. Yeah. Sorry, Brent. It's so, Italian <laughs> Applebee's. <laughs> it, is, it is. It's Italian yeah. Applebee's. <laughs> Just yeah. like Al Torito's is what it's Mexican <laughs> Applebee's. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Right. And it like it's it has its place. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. If you sure. say so. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> Come on, guys. But yeah, it's been a hot minute since. So let's. What have we all been up to? Yeah, I know we have stories. We have. Yeah. Because the last time we recorded was with Minchilada and Snowflake. Hey. By the way, I went to their show. Oh, the how one. was it? I didn't understand a goddamn word because it was in Spanish, <laughs> but it was highly entertaining. <laughs> Them two, even if you don't know what they're talking about, yeah, their chemistry is so good. They had a really good turnout. Yeah, oh, yeah Caesar the helped them get a, a drag queen from from TJ on yeah. their last one. Aww. Yeah, yeah, they did a really good job. It has Caesar is really out here willing and dealing. I, I know, know. He, is. he has willing become. And yeah, he's yeah. like an agent. He yeah. Is. <laughs> agent to the yeah. Team. He's your agent. For yeah. Sure. yeah. Yeah. But it was a good show. They had a really good turnout. Um, I ran, who did I run into that night? Oh, I don't know if you know Justin from Man Spa. He does the Botox, he does like Mariam's yes. and Megan. Yes. Um, he, I ran into him and his husband there. They, so we partied with them. I was like, you guys don't know what they're talking about. He's like, I really look fun. I saw it on the show. So <laughs> yeah, it was a day. It has so much potential. Yeah. Yeah. I know they're coming up in the end of September. They're doing their second one at the rail here in San Diego. I feel like the rail is killing it right now. Well, like, they got new management. Yeah. And it's working yeah. and what yeah. they're promoting is actually yeah. drawing in And people. it's starting to get people to come in. So they're the yeah. lead up to Latino night. Yeah. So, and it was oh. perfect because. Um, people were coming in for that night and they were, they were, it was, it was a good turnout for yeah. the first like That's drag awesome. show. And I love that it was all in Spanish. All the performers were, in, were, um, Spanish performers. It was That's a rad. really cool show. They yeah. did a great job. Yeah. Yeah. Them two cracked me up. They're so funny. If you guys haven't listened to that episode, go back and listen to it. Cause it, 
<laughs> I'm gonna say is it what is Star Donuts Sunny Donuts? <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> Where Snowflake was talking about giving blowjobs behind the sleigh. So, sunny yes. Donuts. Sunny Donuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah. And then did you see she posted or Minchilada posted Sunny Donuts and tagged her. Oh, in her. God, that's amazing. <laughs> Bitches. <laughs> And uh, then, um, what was the other event? Oh, we went to Bear Night. I went. You yes. got me out of the house yeah, yeah. for Bear Night. Yeah. Which all you, all you know, I never go to that ship. Yeah. Uh, but you and Caesar went. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I guess I'll go. It Let's was fun. It. We had a great time. Yeah. And I met uh, our bartender Charlie. Charlie's like, great. Uh, yeah. He Charlie's like, great. Where yeah. is Bear Night for uh, everyone? Uh, the Marrow. The Marrow. And it's the first Saturday of every month. Go check it out. The uh, Bear Night at the Marrow. Yeah. It's fun. Um. We had a really good time, and I met yeah. that one guy that I see at a U spa all the time. But <laughs> I was like, he he was like, "Are you a you or your brother?" And I was like, "God, I hate when this happens." <laughs> yeah, and I was like, "No." Well, at least he asked first, and uh, just yeah, he presume. was like, "I don't know if I know you or your brother." I'm like, "It's me. We talked before," and he's yeah. like, "Okay." And so I ended up hanging out with him for a bit, yeah. and then, oh, you want to hear something funny? So Bear Knight, there was this guy there. The, he had like really cool white. Like gray white hair, tall, good looking guy. Um, he hit me up the next day because he's like, I think I was talking to you on Scrub. And then I was like, Oh, that was you, but I didn't know if like it was you, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so he was like, Do you want to go grab a drink? So I went and grabbed a drink with him. Um, and he actually went to the drag show with me to see Minchelada and Snowflake. Oh, nice. Yeah, That's and it so turns nice. out he's writing a book. Um, which he's actually going to be coming on our show to talk about. That is so he great. The, yeah, he's a really, that. really, really cool guy. Um, so he's writing, currently writing a book about. He did a thirty day challenge of the st- the secret like manifestations, oh, okay. and he documented it all. That's and rad. so now he's with with a publisher, and he's like he's gotten the first draft done. I think that's awesome. So I was like, come on the show and talk about it. Yes. He was like, absolutely. You yeah. know, I it's wanted really... to hate on the secret and that whole thing, but yeah. I've done a lot of it, and it, it kind works. of really works. Yeah, yeah. So I there's can't different hate versions it. of it, I guess. You yeah, could yeah. Say. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I found it fascinating, and like when he was talking about it, he's very charismatic. I'm like, oh, I you'd, love be, that. you'd be that good for him. Yeah, but I, I was like, that's what came out of Paranoia. <laughs> like, you so never weird. know where your I like know. night is gonna go. You don't. I mean, yeah. there was some raunch at Bear Night. There was some guy getting fucked on the dance floor. Mm-hmm. There was a couple blowjobs happening on the dance floor. The last mm-hmm. time I went to Bear Night, you guys got there before <laughs> me. Do you remember this? And the bouncer, I was like, hi. And then Tony's so tall. Like, the bouncer was kind of looking yeah, at me, my. and I waved to Tony. And he went, oh, my God, thank God you know someone in there. I didn't want you to go in alone. <laughs> yeah, <she> <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> Wouldn't I technically be the safest Same? here? Yeah, yeah. And he's like, oh, thank God. Okay, go in. Yeah. Like, he was like holding me back, checking my ID for a yeah, long time. Yeah, he was like, he was like uh, I don't know if you're going to survive this. I don't know if you will die tonight. And then he you're going like, to die. Oh, you know that giant guy over there? The, okay. giant, the yes. giant guy? I'm in tall. She just called me fat. I thought you were Did you just fat shame me? You guys, Ow. she just, no, I'm kidding. All right, the <laughs> podcast is over, you guys. <laughs> done, we're done. That's it. No. Yeah. <laughs> but um, we did Bear Night. It was yeah. very, it was really cool. If you're in San Diego or you're coming to San Diego, go check out Bear Night. First Saturday of every month at the Marrow. They yeah. do a good job with it. It's a it lot of fun. It smells like a locker room, but you get over it after a while. Yeah. <laughs> and the bouncers will take care of you. Yeah, they will. Smaller yeah. and weaker than everyone yeah. else. Yeah. Oh, and I also went to you. Swap Meet a couple weeks ago. Oh. oh. Firefighter Steven. Yeah. That's right. He's I like, come meet me for a drink. And yeah, it was actually there wasn't a lot of people there, no. but we had a good time. Yeah, at the Marrow. Have yeah. you guys ever gone to Trailer Park after dark? Tra- where's that at? No. It's, um, now I can't remember. But not it's the one here. at Riches, is it? No, it's not okay. the one at Riches. It's like an actual. They've set up like a trailer park. Like there's little trailers oh, downtown. downtown. It's downtown yeah. in this village. Yeah, yeah I've yeah, seen yeah, it. Yeah. I've seen yeah. it too. Yeah. I really want to go. What I want. Do it. Is for Field us trip. to do a thrift shop day where we pick out outfits for each other and then we have <laughs> to wear them out to Trailer Park oh, after that. Would be nice. and Good idea. Yeah. Good idea. <laughs> and then we get somebody to, to videotape it while we're there. Yes. <laughs> so we can put it on YouTube. Yes, yeah. we can put it on and like have like a montage of us yes. saying on stuff. Oh, God. It's a montage. You know what's coming up next month? Red dress. Oh, yeah. Are you going, Eric? I did not buy a ticket I this year. Either. Yet. Me either. Yeah, I know. I have to. What's the date? Um, October seventh, I believe. Yeah, yeah. I might. I'm. I want to go. Chris is our friend. Chris is going. Miss Megs is going. Everybody. Everybody and everybody's going. Yeah. And you know, it's always every time we've gone, it's always been amazing. And you always yeah. like have the best. I know, <laughs> and I have. I haven't. Wait, even have thought Caesar it. do it? 
Yeah. yeah. Make your outfit. Well, yeah. I, I've i already figured out what I'm doing for Halloween. I'm what are you doing? to that. <laughs> oh, I've committed. I'm doing Pretty Woman, the opening scene. I was hoping for that. With the trench Please. coat yeah, and I the love hat it. Yes. and the blonde wig. Yeah. This is going to be amazing. This I cannot be amazing, wait. You guys. And Caesar wants to be Richard Gere in a gray suit. That would be perfect. An um, what are we doing for suit. the show? Because well, we dress up every time for the show. I thought we were going to do First Wives Club. <gasps> uh, I told you I'm Bette Midler. That's a given. Yes, I, yeah. that is fine. And I'm you're going to be... I'm Elise with Elise. lips. Yeah. yeah. And of course I'm Diane Keaton. <laughs> <laughs> do you, wait, we can do better than First Wives Club, I think. All right. I really like our original idea of Three's Company where you're Jack yes, and you're Chrissy and, you and, and, and I'm, yeah. I'm Jack. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but these kids won't know what we're doing. They, no, no they won't. I mean, yeah. not even First Wives Club. They won't even yeah. know. Or out there, our listeners, if you guys have an idea yes. for a our Halloween costumes for the three of us, send it to us. DM us on Who Invited Her Please. Um, underscore podcast on Instagram or you can email us at the gang at whoinvitedher.net. So give us ideas if you have yes. something. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. Real. and you know any gender, any anything. Creature, we'll do. We'll do anything any, for a any laugh. Planet. You know, <laughs> it doesn't necessarily have to be a human being or an no. earthling. Just let us know. A human being. <laughs> sure, I don't know. I They're just like think. aliens. Yeah, little aliens yeah. or like weird little elves. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's catch up. What have we been? Because oh. we, we haven't seen each other yeah. in like three three weeks, and we we see each other every week. Yeah. so it's been a while. Yeah. Um, Eric, you've been traveling yeah. a lot. I went to Guadalajara for a week, which okay. was phenomenal. I had s- such a fun time. Um, was it your first time there? Yeah, it was my oh, yeah. first time there. It's so beautiful. All I'm what I'm learning is that a lot of these cities were all conquered by the Spanish and the French and have so much influence. They're just they you feel like you're in Europe at yeah. moments, yeah. which is really cool. Um we went to a drag show and met Christian Peralta, who was the winner of Drag Race Mexico. Yes. Oh, yeah. for the, the first season, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah for the first oh, season. Wow. Okay. Super nice, super cool, great performer live. That's just what I like hear. so yeah. captivating with the audience. Like very oh, deserving. Very cool. Um, and cool that it's <clears throat> like continuing on past. You always like when people are winning after the season. Like yeah. that's what's yeah. important. Yeah, you know? for sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, we, we went to this one club. It was three stories. The first room was like all like uh, reggaeton. The second room is all EDM and the third room is all pop oh, wow. music. Uh, so cool. much fun. Yeah. I'm like, it's, what was your favorite room? It was like the more intense riches. <laughs> if, <laughs> if riches had three floors, that's what it would be. Would be yeah. yeah. Um, my favorite was the reggaeton and then the pop. Oh okay. yeah. They were all fun though. Yeah. And where, then, where else did you go besides that? Uh, so I also went to Palm Springs. Oh, I me went too. there for four days. Oh, yeah. We were there the same Wait, week. You guys you know were there for, fourth or for Labor Day weekend. Yeah. Right? yeah. We have been in Palm Springs. Springs at the same time twice, twice but, but haven't met up. up. But we didn't even I didn't even know you were there. Yeah, and the next time we were just both like, hey, we can't make this show <laughs> yeah. <in> Palm Springs. <laughs> yeah. And you were like, I Yeah, you guys, Palm there's too. one of the reasons why I'm we didn't do the show. Because these assholes were in Palm Springs. Did I get an invite? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, my family was here. Um yeah. how is Palm Springs? Have you been before? I mean, I love Palm Springs. I love I've Palm been Springs. Going since did I was. You, did you stay at a nudie resort? I would love it if I, Brynn okay. was like the only girl <laughs> at the nude resort. At the nude re- that is what would happen. That would be the opposite of yeah. what I would want. Yeah. Like I would stay at an all-girl nudist resort. And of course you would. Yeah. Uh, like, hey, ladies. Uh, no, because uh, it's just like when you go to Black's Beach, yeah. and it's just all dudes. Yeah. Dudes. And yeah. children in the bushes with. You know, wait. binoculars. Oh, okay. children, I was like, wait, hey. children are in the bush. Children at the beach? <laughs> no. No, uh, she know, doesn't know. No, not at Blags. Everyone <laughs> wants their, in trouble. <laughs> everyone wants like their standby me moment where they're oh, yeah. like oh, yeah. looking at okay, the beach and then all that. their, they're like, I'm going to see some hot uh, I'm gonna chicks. See some boobs. And it's like, no, you're going to see some old man old balls. Man. And that's what's up. <laughs> that's what happens. Old man balls. Old man <laughs> balls. It's so true. You know, yeah. That's like the only people who are like not shamed for being naked in public are old white men. Why is that? We need to change that. Yeah. Let's start sure. no, well, we can't so that. I was watching a thing with Michelle Wolf, and she was like, oh. there's the straight beach, nude beach, and then yeah, there's the gay, gay nude, nude, nude beach. beach. And yeah. everyone's like, why can't the straight nude beach be the be same like the as gay. the gay nude beach? And no, they're like, it just, it just doesn't happen. It's no. 
they can't be the same. Well, when was the last time you went? Everything. When was the last time you went to uh, Blacks? <laughs> oh, it's been two years for me. I I I love Blacks. I, I do just, too. I'm that actually hike. super Ugh. mad at myself. I have not been to the beach all summer, and I'm I did a angry. Beach day not too long ago, <laughs> with um um Roz from Roz Travels, oh, our nice. friend of the podcast, <laughs> Firefly Steven, <laughs> and my child Malvolio. Yeah. He is an adult. He is an adult. <laughs> um, we had a beach day, but we had, <sighs> we had, we went to PB. We didn't do Black nice. Sunday. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I haven't been to Blacks in probably a year. It's been, yeah. after I had a child, my body is very different. So after my mm. child, mine too. True. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it destroyed me. <laughs> like, I I mean, I, like I wish that there was like a nude beach for women. You blacks like, where the straight side is. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Hang out with a bunch of straight people. No, <laughs> uh, nothing wrong with straight people. They're nothing fine, wrong. but I just don't want to be naked around them. Um, I feel like it should just, just be women who have like had kids. Let's have yeah. a whole and new beach it. for women. Mom's that are beach. Not... Mom's, mom's beach. beach. Yeah. There you go. Mom's, mom's nude beach. Mom's not mom's nude, nude beach. Mom's nudie cuties. <laughs> and then we all just hang out and look at our C-section scars. And yeah. we're like, that's fine. <laughs> Well, eating like, cutie you oranges. Well, eating there cutie you oranges yeah. and drinking uh, skinny, Rose, girl, yes. <laughs> skinny girl <laughs> margaritas. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I forbid yeah. this. No, I won't. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> oh, man. Wait, okay, where else did you go? Um, That's it. Just that's pop it. Those, those yeah. are the, your two big trips? Those are the two big trips. What about you, Brim? What have you been doing with yourself for the last couple of weeks since I haven't seen you? I went to Palm Springs. Yeah. Flynn, my daughter, is back in school now, so it's that's Flynn. been cool. She's yeah. in the third grade, so it's cool. You've it's been momming it? I have. She, I, th- I don't know. Kids are a trip. She doesn't, like, need me anymore, <laughs> ostensibly. She's like, she doesn't want to hug me when I get to school. Oh, she's getting at that age. Oh, she's only eight, you know? Yeah. But no, it's already like that. Oh, it's, she's like, mm. mom, no, leave me alone. Yeah, she called me overprotective. She got hit in the head or something at With school. With what? Um, so another kid like accidentally kicked her. Oh. So then I run to the school and I like run and they're like, maybe she has a concussion. We don't think so. So I run to the school and she's like, what are you doing here? She's like, you're killing my body. I was like, yes. And she's like, I have art class. I have art. Mom, this is so embarrassing. Yes. And I was like, I don't know. Like, look at me. Do you have a concussion? She's like, I got hit in the chin. And then like leaves. And then this other little girl's like, this other little girl walks up to me and she's like, we were. Let me tell you what happened. And this other little girl puts her hand on my shoulder and fills me in. This other little friend, and she's like, "She's fine." She's and I was fine. like, "Great, you're, you're good, mom. You can go." Yeah, I love I got this. this. I love yeah. this for me. I'm like all disheveled. I have like my yeah. glasses on in front of all the La Jolla moms and their Lululemon, <laughs> and I'm like in my Target sweats. <laughs> <laughs> that's nothing wrong with that. Know, wrong with like that. a giant crazy person. I'm like my daughter got hit in the, the head. head. She's and dying. Like, wow. And then Flynn's just like, oh. Just like when here? you guys got robbed, from Flynn was remember. Oh my god, yes. We someone broke into our house, and Flynn's like, mom, you're making such a big deal you about do this. About it. And then she talked to the police. Yeah, <laughs> not you. She <laughs> got the one on one account. Seven year old daughter's <laughs> talking to the police, giving them the rundown of what happened. Like, All right, man. <laughs> I mean, she is like a little mini, mini adult. Yeah, she is. Really I is. told you about at my work. Yeah. Everyone is like, we have this guy that has two kids, but he lives on a farm. So it seems like he has a million kids. So we was like, well, you know, Brian has like 10 kids. And everyone's like, no, he's got two. Yeah. And we're like, why does it seem like he has so many? And then we all went around the room. We're like, how many kids does it seem like I have? And everyone's like, oh, it seems like you have one, you know? And they got to me and they were like, Brynn, it seems like you have a 30-year-old roommate. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is like your 30-year-old yes. roommate. <laughs> so she where my office is at home. Oh the, like God. the water cooling system yeah. is behind me. So she'll come by just like a little... And she'll like have her glass and she'll fill up her water and she'll look. I'll be in a meeting. She'll be like, What's up? And then fill her water up and leave. It's <laughs> okay, Flynn. Yeah. It's so Flynn. That is yeah. So, so that's funny. what I've been doing. Yeah, dealing with is. my 30 year old roommate. Actual eight year old roommate. <laughs> I love that it's just a roommate. Who like, tells, tells yeah. me when to go to bed. <laughs> when to go to bed. Hey, it's, uh, yeah. it's about that time, lady. Yeah, exactly. yeah she, was, she was like, Mom, you got to finish up your reading because we got to brush our teeth. And yeah, I was like, It's, okay. it's bedtime. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> She just keeps you in line. Uh, You know, you can the the LGBTQIA community can also be very boring. Yeah, (laughs) that's what we're here to teach you guys. There you go. I, I, it's been a weird journey the last couple weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So I was having a little mental health breakdown. 
Um, mm-hmm. I was going through some like anxiety, depression, so I started with back in therapy, That's which good. we've been very open about our mental health. Yeah. Go now. to therapy. Yes, yes. it helps. So yes. it turns out I um, have not grieved my 14 year relationship, and now two and a half years later, it's kicking in. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. I think it's, you know, you're in survival mode. Is that what it is? Yes. yes. Okay. For so long. Yeah. That you're, th- and then you're thinking you're going to find something that's like going to n- numb it. N- not, not numb it, but like, so you have to go through the grieving process, yeah. right? But you're in survival mode. And then you're like, well, maybe I can find something that makes me not have to go through the grieving yeah. process. Yes. Maybe I'll find something that makes me so happy that I don't even need to grieve I this. I think that's so what you're happened. trying to and skip right to the last step. We, and you yeah. know, like we were very public about it on the show. Yeah. Yes. With Robbie and I. Yeah. So. Yeah. And, we, and we and him are so great friends. So well, yeah. And I think yeah, it's just been weird. That's part of it too, is that your transition wasn't like shocking no. or like you guys kind of saw it coming. You talked about it. You were so mature about it. So like when something ends, I don't want to say like violently because that's not the right word but when something end, ends like angrily mm-hmm. yeah. you're like you're nursing your anger right. you're angry and you have you can put the blame on I'm someone like I hate you Mother yeah God. it's your yeah. fault you did all these things oh and then he was also saying because that was around the same time all my family moved yeah. and Manny left yes yeah. so it was like yes. everybody left it so he's like it wasn't change. just that's that true. it was like Everybody, but then I was like, I kept myself busy with the show, with yeah. friends, and everything. And now, mm-hmm. like, all of that's kind of settled, yeah. And so now I'm like, hello, I'm here by myself, you know what I mean? So, that's the yeah. thing about like, because like I have an anxiety disorder, and yeah. so my anxiety will kick in when things are fine for me, and it's always trippy to everyone yeah. because they're like, well, mm. what's going on? Because like, I could understand if you were freaking oh, out when all this stuff was happening. But now your it's life is fine. It's the weirdest thing, isn't and it? It's because like when everything seems like aligned up and then yeah. you're like. Your brain yeah. finally has time to be like, hey, you Maybe know what happened? That? We're really fucked up about that. <laughs> At the time, <laughs> we couldn't tell you this because yeah. we didn't want to explode. Yeah. But now that you're cool and we're, we're resting. We're going to talk about it. You yeah. got to address this bitch. Yeah, but luckily now, like as of today, I'm, I feel much better. Like Good. it's totally like the new meds kicked in. Everything's fine. Um, it's still so like you, like anybody going through it you have your good days you have your bad days yeah um i my number one thing is get a really good therapist yes so get a really good this therapist is why it really so helps important when even if you think that it's just like a little bit and you're fine to get that person lined up mm-hmm. so that when it is bad you already have that channel yeah. Oh, yeah. because yeah. I know so many people that like they've kind of had anxiety. They've kind of had all this stuff for a while and it's been fine. So they've never like established that like care network that yeah. they needed. Yeah. And then by the time it gets really fucking bad, they're like, well, what do I do now? Whereas yeah. like me right now, if I have like a, an acute anxiety attack, I have a therapist that I can call. I can text any time. I have like a psychiatrist that I can call yeah, and he yeah. can call in a prescription for me mm-hmm. yeah. and I know what I can do. And even having those mechanisms in place yeah. is Helps. comforting. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so like, even if you don't think that you need it, just establish it now. I call them you touch never... up appointments. Yeah. Like yes. you just need a little touch yes. up. Because yeah. exactly. exactly. you never know when an episode's going to hit. It could be anything yeah. can trigger it, right? Yes. So true. Um, and then like, while doing this process, process i learned that there are a lot of people out there that don't take care of their mental health at all because there's still such a stigma yeah against it that it looks it's looked down upon i'm very thankful for the company i work for they provide free therapy like 12 sessions a year for free. that's, that's great yeah. that's so yeah. great every i mean, no should every do company that. Should yeah. do that. <laughs> really should seriously it's like, but it's, yeah it's i agree like, with you Bryn. like put in like a play even if you don't need it at the moment you never know you never know yeah. Well, and it's yeah. like, especially in this community, because for so long, it was like people, if you were in this community, that was considered a mental health issue. Oh, yeah. Like, Up that until was the yeah. Like, oh, no, it's just like, you're just yeah. nuts. Yeah. Or there's something was, wrong with it you. It was considered a mental health thing. So yeah. sometimes it can seem like, well, I can't admit that I have these issues because mm-hmm. it's so intertwined with our guilt about being queer. Yeah. yeah. That, Which you know, um, is all the straight people's fault. It's all straight people's <laughs> fault. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It I'm is, kidding. though. Why? Could you imagine, like, being back in ancient Rome, and there's just, like, senators, fucking ki- men, fucking women, yeah. and the women are fucking other women, and everyone's fucking each other, and everyone's fine and nice. And everybody's like, mm, Isn't that cool. just reality TV? Yeah. Pretty much. Isn't that, like, <laughs> isn't that love, Big Brother? Isn't that Love Island? <laughs> like, it, <laughs> there's, like, not that guilt about it. Yeah. Oh, you know? got it, got it, got yeah. it. Yeah. It's the, cri- it's like the Catholic guilt. Yeah. The Christian guilt. 
whatever yeah. religion you're part of. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, like and that. then on top of that, my mom was here visiting. That's mm-hmm. I love my mom to death. I love her. Sure. But that woman... Three days max is what oh, my no. mom and I have an agreement. Oh, no. She came for three weeks. <laughs> That's all. That, every Not time just with you me. Said my mom she didn't was... stay. Yeah. She stayed with me for a bit and Ooh. then she went to my sister's. Came back, stayed with me, went to my sister's. Love my mom to death. She can't hear where shit. Yeah. So it's like, you have to talk extra loud. And she's like, what? What? Huh? Who? And I'm just like, I can't. I can't. And thank God for like my friends, Stephen and Melvin, because they they had to put up with my mom too. <laughs> they were like, "How do Melvin and your mom get along?" Oh, my mom adores him. She's I, I like, "Oh, you bad." Yeah, yeah, she yeah. adores. Yeah. She and she, I think she has a crush on Stephen. <laughs> yeah, St- yeah, yeah. There was one time we were driving in a car, and Stephen was in the car with me, and my mom, my mom was on speakerphone, and then she was like, "What are you doing?" And I'm like, "Oh, I'm gonna go hang out. I'm just hanging out with Stephen." And she didn't hear that I said I'm actually hanging out with him. And she's like, yeah. "Oh," and she's like, "Well, tell uh, tell that handsome man I said hello and <laughs> this and that." And then he's like, "Hi, Claire." My mom's ah! like. What? Steven's in the car? You didn't tell me he's in the car. And she got mortified. Uh, She's like, I gotta go. And she well, go. now we know Claire's type. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> she likes her. She has like a little, a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. But no, she she adores Melvin. I think yeah. she looks at him like, oh, he's my little baby. Melvin yeah. has such like a sweet open. Uh, nah, not all. Yeah. Time. This is now a Melvin stand. Nah, he's a little <laughs> bitch when he wants to. Be. Wow. No, wow. Really. <laughs> and Melvin wants to take care of Aren't everyone. We all? He like Melvin wants uh, not everybody. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I gotta keep it grounded. Gotta get that. You know. <laughs> I have to tell you the cutest story is that sometimes I will bring Flynn to oh. do the podcast, <laughs> and she'll be in another room, and she like has her little earbuds on, and she's like listening. To music or yeah. like listening to a book or something and melvin came in one day <laughs> and he didn't see her on the couch went to the My freezer bedroom, uh got <laughs> got an ice cream bar took a bite of it looked over saw flynn flynn looked up at him he pointed to the ice cream bar. She nodded yes, and he broke off a half of it, <laughs> gave it to her, and they never even exchanged CG a word. Yeah, and then so just sat there and then ate their ice cream, and then Melvin had to go to work. Yeah. <laughs> it was, I was like, this is, it was the sweetest thing I've ever Aww. heard. She just like shows you like Melvin's personality. Yeah, he just like looked at her and yeah. was like, you want a piece? Yeah. And she was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that little bitch. <laughs> Which was you, Melvin's personality and Flynn. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Like, yeah, I'll take They're both seven year olds. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna kill me. Oh. For years. <laughs> He's a very nice, yeah. sweet girl. Uh, but what else have I been? I'm thinking like, so my mom was here. That was a very interesting trip. Yeah, it was a long oh, time. isn't it? Isn't it hard when you have to deal with your parents at like, as they get older? I mean, I love my mom to death, but. My God, she comes for like one day and she tries to rearrange my whole it's house. Yeah, and I'm like, never, you're only here for a day. You never. Get now out I can't of find anything. That dynamic. You oh, never get out yeah. of that dynamic. Yeah. 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 My mom turns 75 in two weeks. Oh, Rosemary. Okay. Rosemary. Yes. Rosemary. Hi, Rosemary. <laughs> yes. We're excited. What are you yeah. guys gonna do? Yeah. We're we're having a party at my brother's house. Oh, yes. that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, yeah. What else? You know what we're gonna do? Take a break. break time. Ah! Yeah, I know. It's already. That was so, so fast. I know. So when we come back, I did do something on break. I got my chakras realigned. Oh, it was a very this. interesting experience. We're going to talk about that. The VMAs happened. Yes. And you guys, October 4th is coming. We haven't heard. It's the apocalypse of the internet. We're going back to Stone Age. So we're going to talk oh, about how we're going to survive this. this. I don't know anything about what? that. Interesting. Well, we're going to go to break, <laughs> and then we're going to talk all about it. You're so we'll be right back, guy. you guys. I know. What? Wait a second. Do you hear that? It's the sound of your wallet crying out for help because you need a great hosting service for your podcast, but don't want to break the bank. Well, have no fear because Blueberry Pro Hosting is here to save the day. And not only that, they are offering our listeners a special deal. That's right. With the code WIH, you can get your $100 Blueberry Pro Hosting setup fee waived. And don't worry, their support team is always available to answer any onboarding questions you might have. So what are you waiting for? Get your podcast hosted with Blueberry Pro Hosting today and start sharing your stories with the world. And remember, use the code WIH at checkout to get your setup fee for free. Thanks for listening. (laughs) Hey, everybody. We're back from a break. We have refilled drinks and we're ready to go. Uh, um, So before we start, you know, okay. 
So we were talking before how I've been going through this like <laughs> mental health thing. Um, so that when I you go made through, it cute. I mental know. Mental health that make it cute. cute. Mental health, <laughs> but like a sexy oh, baby. Wow, sexy baby. <laughs> 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 I will never do that again on the show. <laughs> so you know how I go through my shows, like the ones I always watch. Yes. So Ugly Betty's always a go-to, but mm-hmm. you know what I'm stuck on right now? What? what? Guess. Yes. Desperate Housewives? Never. No. Um, Gilmore Girls. Oh. Never, I never got into it. that. No, I don't know why they I talk get too into fast it. for me. I love it. I just put it in the background. You know what I learned too? My therapist told me that when people go through like a depression or anxiety, they always go back to the same shows because they know how it's going to end. Yes. So true. And they right? know the jokes and they know the. Pain. So when you're in those moods, what is your go to show Ooh. or movie? I already know. That you, what? Okay. Go the ahead. nanny for me. Absolutely. Yep. I was going to say Hands the nanny down. for you. Yep. Yeah. 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 Is it okay? Uh, movie. movie then. Um, yeah. Probably Devil Wears Prada, mm. uh, Death Becomes Her. Uh, First Wives Club. Do you want to yeah. hear something about Death Becomes Her? April of Megan next year, Hilton. 2024, they're doing the world premiere of Death Becomes Her, the musical in oh. Chicago. My brother and I are actually going to go <laughs> see it. And Megan, Megan Hilty is... Megan Hilty. Yeah. Oh. Is playing, yeah. Is I love playing, that. I know. Uh, Meryl Streep. Meryl, Meryl Streep's character. I, yeah. We're so excited. I can't wait That's to see it. It's either going to be shit or it's going to be really good. It'll probably like be it. pretty good. Yeah, I'm yeah. guessing. Yeah. I don't know. It just depends what they do with it. I love the opening sequence with Meryl Streep. Like, oh, and oh, everyone's so walking amazing. out of the theater. Yeah, and it's not that out. bad. Yeah. I'm like, I, like would I, love, I would watch this. it. I'd watch that it. That is yeah. why gay people like it. Because we're like, yeah. you would never walk out of a production no. of this. No, no. never. <laughs> it's just gay <laughs> enough. Uh, 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 yes. Okay, what is your go-to, Brindalyn? Um, this is going to be terrible. Like, Shaun of the Dead. Oh, I love that movie. Jeez. Remember we were going to cover that on our other yes. show? Yeah. Yes. Shaun of the Dead is like the movie. And then I watch Designing Women. <gasps> so do I. That's one of my go-tos. Uh, yeah. I love Designing you know Women. It, you know the beats. And then yeah. um, Broad City. Oh. That's another one. Broad City. Yeah. I was, I saw, I, I love that um, YouTube show, Hot Wings. And oh, so yes. they had Alana Glazer and <gasps> a- Abby on there. Yeah. And they were doing, oh, yeah. it was so good. If you guys haven't seen Broad City, that is Watch one of the Broad best City. shows so ever. Yes. Yeah. So mine, uh, Gilmore Girls, of course. Um, happy yeah. Endings, which is. Oh, oh love Happy that. Endings is what yeah, it was Kirk, for me. We were so talking good. about that. We were talking which about the Happy yeah. Endings. So yeah. the first time that I ever was like, I'm going to be funny on TikTok. Was to a clip that I recorded from Happy Endings, which is when Penny's like depressed. Yeah. And they're like, Penny, you're walking around in overalls. And she goes, These aren't, or you're walking in pajamas. And she goes, These aren't pajamas. These are pajamas. (laughs) And you can tell (laughs) it's me in a dimly lit room with the sound terrible because it was the first TikTok I ever made. Yeah. And it's yeah. me doing the Pedrover all <laughs> it. Happy <laughs> Endings is probably the Happy top Endings five. is probably one of the most so underrated good. TV shows ever. Yeah. So it only lasted three seasons. And the reason why the third it didn't go any farther because when the third season came out, that's when the first like a writer strike happened. Yeah. So oh. it never but it was yeah so good. If you guys haven't Truly. seen Happy Endings, go to Hulu. You can watch the, all three seasons yeah. on there. That's one of my go to's Ugly Betty um, Gilmore Girls. I love designing one, but my movies. Every time, it's the Pride and Prejudice with Keira Knightley. I That's love that. Wow, one. I've never and seen it. Young Victoria with Emily Blunt. Huh. Have you ever seen? <laughs> you know, it's Ooh, so I gay. love that. It well, is so gay. Those are my go-to. Um, Sense and Sensibility. Yes, like. with Emma Thompson yes. and Kate Winslet. Yeah. And have you ever seen the BBC miniseries Lost in Austin? Yes, I have. I love that period <laughs> shit. <laughs> I get so nerded out by Me that. Me too. Because it's love very it. non-threatening. I want to live in just like a. So Jane do I, Austin. but we don't have to, and that's no, nice. Thank God, because exactly. they didn't have toilets or running water. No. Or toothbrushes. Or they had yeah. cholera. You know, like all those. Dis- and Terry, all those yeah. diseases. You know. <laughs> but no, those but are my go-to. Comforting, yeah. I love that. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I mean, comforting to know that. that a fever might take you any day. So YOLO. I, any day. Any day. I binge watched a new show that I was super addicted to in Spanish. And what it's was it? On Netflix, and it's Daughter from Another Mother. Yes. Yes, I actually know I about this. Know this. Yes. yes, and so the daughter. T- so from these another two mother. mothers who are complete opposite. One's kind of like a hippie, and one is like super type A. They had the baby at the same time. They hate each other. Like they meet each other. They hate each other. Okay, they're next okay. to each other, and then the nurse switches the kids. <gasps> And this so is like big business. So they big find bi- it's just it like is. big business. business. They find out <laughs> three weeks later, and then 
switch them back but yeah. decide to live together because they're so bonded because they're so bonded with the other kids and the moms hate each slow, other and the moms hate each other what is this on it's called uh, netflix it's netflix. on netflix yeah. daughter oh, from another mother it. it's in yeah. spanish but it was so oh, good it. so what i love that netflix is doing now is that they're recommending stuff for you that's not just in your language because yeah. i get a lot yeah. of korean stuff so do <laughs> i you know, Just well, especially I'm, with the writer strike, they yeah, kind of have to because that's how they could get away. They were doing that before yeah. like for me because Koreans are spooky. I don't, it, <laughs> no, I don't want to be racist. Um, <laughs> <laughs> kind of, <laughs> um, <laughs> like Korean, they're TV. not afraid to be spooky in their TV shows. Yeah. So I get offered a lot of Korean stuff, and I have watched a lot of Korean stuff, yeah. and it's very spooky. And um, from Some India, of it's really good. India yeah, too. they have like ghost dad in yeah. India. They have like a ghost dad TV show. Yeah, it's very it. good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, since we're talking about ghosts and all that, you know what I did on our little like, oh, I guess yes. unprompted break, sabbatical, yeah. sabbatical, so, a sabbatical. Yeah. Did yeah. we take a sabbatical? We I did. love that. We did. We took a, I took a sabbatical. <laughs> I got my um, chakras realigned and cleansed. Oh, I want well, chakra. I can tell. Cleansing. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. They look I very mean, aligned. Do they? Do they? <laughs> They're all aligned. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I went and did this. I got recommended from a friend of mine, and um, the woman I went to, she only does it through referrals. Um, I always go into these situations like I believe all that shit, but then there's always half of me like, mm, yeah, we'll see. Agreed. So yeah, yeah. I went for an hour. Ended up being two hours and fifteen minutes. This whole thing. So I walk into this woman's house. Um, she was uh, she was um, I want to say Italian and Turkish. Mm. Very kind. The minute I met her, super kind. I got like the, the older woman, just very very cool vibe. And so I come in, and she talks a little. She was very chatty, and then she has me lay down on a table. <clears throat> right and then she's like well we're gonna start um do your chakras and she's explaining like what your chakras are because uh, like you have your on your feet your arms like your heart chakra your head all of that and so where i'm laying there and she puts a chakra box next to me so it can absorb your energy what is a chakra box yeah it, it absorbs your the energy like the mm. negative energy apparently <gasps> okay. i don't know um, you have to have somewhere. It's like in Ghostbusters. Yeah, so you, yeah. You yeah. have to have somewhere for them to go. <laughs> so she she sits. She lays me on this table, and she's like, um, I, she does psychic readings too, and I mean, she's like, stuff may come in while we're doing this. Mm. Um, she said, just close your eyes, don't talk at all. This is I'm my just, dream, and I'm just gonna if it comes in, I'm gonna talk. And she's like, I'll be explaining what I'm doing, but she's like, she's a healer, so she heals with her hands and realigns your energy and pressure points and all this stuff. So the first thing, like, I lay down, and she's like, she's working on my feet. She starts with your feet, and she says your right side is your more masculine side, and this is for hmm. women, too. And your left side is your more feminine side. So she's rubbing my right side, and she's like, oh, there's trauma there. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> and I was like, okay. And then she really liked my left side. She's like, you've had a lot of powerful women in your life, which is true. Mm. My mom, my grandma, everybody. And I've talked about it on the show. Um, and she goes, oh. And she says, cats and animals, cat and cats and dogs, these animals seem to really be attracted to you, um, but you don't like them. And I was <laughs> like, I don't. I'm like, I'm very picky. That's but true. That is right? true. Right? Yes. So after she said that, her dog in the other room kept barking. And barking, huh. she kept having to stop, go get, tell her dog, like, be quiet, be quiet. And she's like, this never happens. This never happens. But he keeps wanting to come out of the room. And I yeah. was like, okay. So then she's like, takes him outside. And like, it was like right at the beginning. So I'm like, I don't know about this. Yeah. And she's like, I'm so sorry. This doesn't ever happen. And so she goes back into d to doing the, the reading. And so she's pushing on my feet, like these pressure points. And she says, this is where success <sighs> and this money come. And she's dream. like, we're just going to reset your energy because we're all energy from head to toe we're all energy and it's just your chakras are realigning your energy and stuff um and then so she's doing that explaining about the feet and telling me like just one and then she goes oh your aunt's here and i was mm. like and i'm not saying anything my aunt she goes well it's not like your direct aunt she says i want to say it's related to your grandma um uh, maybe her sister i don't know i'm getting like a twin vibe but she's here and she's one of your guardian angels my grandma had a twin, my dear Terry, mm. and she passed away um, a long time ago. And there's no way she could have known that. And she was, she specifically said, like, your grandma, oh, I believe it's her sister, possibly a twin. I don't know if that runs in your family. And I was like, 
Wow. Um, we okay. have to do that. So yes. I got freaked out. Like I started getting goosebumps. And then she's and she and you're not allowed to talk, so she has no idea if you're. Like, I also love that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because at one point I opened my eyes and she goes, don't open your eyes. <gasps> and I was like, okay. <laughs> don't put a spell on me, witch. Yeah. This is my actual dream. Is it? Yes. And then she starts working on my hand. And, and she she's says, physically touching, touching you. Me. So she's doing this. And she goes, you're going to feel a lot of heat from my hands. Whoa. And it was the weirdest experience. It was hot. Like her hands were hot where she was like holding over. Like, And I was like. I've never had this experience before. Huh. And so then she go works on she's working on my arm right here, right? And on my right side of my body. And she goes, um, your guardian, your your spirit guys, they're really, really pointing me to your hands. You must be do something really creative or physical with your hands. Wow. And she goes, I don't know what it is, but they really like your hands. Like she's there, they keep pointing me to your hands. And so she kept pushing and she was pushing different pressure points and she was explaining like what your what all that is and stuff and then um she gets to your she says you hold a lot of your anxiety in your gut and i was like yeah hell yeah i do mm -hmm. she goes oh um you had a lot of, like you don't have a good relationship with your father she says and mm -hmm. she goes somebody's coming in i want to say it's probably your grandfather and he's letting me know he was the one who raised you not your father which is my dad's my dad's my dad's my grandfather on my dad's side he was the one who raised us not my dad and there was a huge thing in our family about it so i was like Okay. And wow. I was kind of getting freaked out at this point. Like, there's no way she could have known that. And she said, he just wants to let you know that he's always watched out for you and your siblings, she goes. And she's just like, he's just always, he's always there. And you know when he's there. And I was like, and then this is the this is the kicker. So she's going through it, and she's on my right side of my body, and she goes, oh, "You had cancer in your past life, <gasps> or in the past." And she says, "Just be very careful with your diet." But it, and it was, for I know all you know, I was uh, talked about it on the show. Yeah. I had kidney cancer, and it was my right kidney. So she was just like, "Yeah, you had kidney, you had cancer in your," and I was sitting there quiet, and I'm like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was the weirdest experience. <laughs> And then she gets to my head, and she's talking about your third eye and all that. And she said, on the right side of my brain, or she says, that's where your depression's held. She's like, there's a dark cloud there. And she says, if you don't take care of this, it's going to take over. And she was, and she said, your left side, um, like your feet, is more feminine. She says, you have a very, she says, you're a very kind person. You have a lot of love, and you're taking care of everybody else, but not yourself. Mm. And she says, you need to stop doing that. You worry about everybody else but yourself. And then, like, she finished, she did some other stuff, and then she finished, and then she's like, I don't really, like, she goes, I never do this, but do you, let's sit down and have some coffee. And I was mm. like, okay, so she prepared, like, this Turkish coffee. Love Turkish And wow. she's like, I'm going to do a reading of your <gasps> coffee, like the. The leave. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, and then she goes, residue. but before that, she's like, I am getting a strong, like, your spirit guide really wants you to know who they are. Do you want do you want to know who they are? And she says everybody has a deity of some form as your spirit guide. And then you have maybe people in your past who are your spirit guides. And I was like, okay, this is like I was like, we'll see how this goes. Yeah. So then she did like this. She pulled out the stack of cards and then she has me pick one and then I turned it over and I had no idea what it was. And I know tarot because I had to learn it for yeah. a show I did. Mm -hmm. So when we got to that part, I was like, okay, this will tell me if she's like. So she told me who my spirit guide was, and we went through that, and I was like, wow, okay. And then um, she says, I just I just feel like they're telling me you need a, you need a reading, like a full-on tarot reading. Wow. And I was like, okay. And she goes, oh, and then she said before we sat down for that, she goes, what do you do with your hands? They kept pointing to my hands. And I told her, I'm, I've done art since I was a kid. And she's like, oh, and she was like, she started freaking out because she was right. Yeah. And then she was like, and we started talking about the cancer, and I told her I had kidney cancer on my right side. And she's like, oh, what? Oh, how? Like, and then we started talking about that, and she turns out to be an artist, too. And I talked to her, and she's like, who is your, who is your aunt? Because she was coming by really strong and she's and she's like i don't know if i was right or whatever but i felt like it was like it was a double of your grandma like a twin i was like my grandma was an identical twin and she passed away when we were young and i was very yeah. close to her and she was like G you keep her memory alive and you talk about her a lot so she's one of your strong like guides so just know that and then so she does the tarot and she's pulling the cards and stuff and um it was just so interesting because i knew the card she was doing and I told her, like, she's like, are you familiar with Tara? And I said, yes, I know yeah. actually how to read Tara. She's like, oh, this is going to be fun then. <laughs> and yeah. then she brought up Melvin. And not by name. She says, you have young Kidder. energy around you. 
And I was Whoa. like, what? And she's like, there's somebody around you. And she goes, you know who it is? And I was like, um, yeah. And then um, she kind of looked at me and she she said, what's his name? And I kind of mouthed and she, she just nodded in acknowledgement. She goes, this isn't the first time you guys have done this. You I guys knew have, it. I knew yeah, it. Yeah. She says, you guys have done this many, many lives. You guys have had many, many lives together. And I was like, really? And she goes, you guys have a very strong connection. And she said, um, oh, you don't even know how deep your guys' friendship is going to even go. And she says, but you're very yin and yang. She said, you give mm. him what he needs to be successful, and he'll give you what you need to be successful. But get out of each other's way because you overthink everything. Mm. And I was like, okay. And she goes, oh, yeah. This is like, she mm. says, there's certain people that come into your life, and it's an immediate click. Yeah. Like, you no, know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. like the other yeah, psychic yeah. told me and you. Yeah. And she was like, and you just know. And it's and she says, when that happens to you, it's because this isn't your, we all come back. She kept saying, we all come back. We're all energy. We never, we never go away. We just we keep coming back, learning lessons. And so those people you connect with immediately are people that you've already done a life with many times, many times. I read this book that said that you, like, when you come back into your life, and if you believe this stuff, mm -hmm. that the people that are supposed to be close to you get closer and closer. It's different iterations. Like, at yeah. one point, it's your brother. At one point, <coughs> it's your wife. At one point, it's your yeah. best friend. At yeah. one point, it's your favorite cousin. And then the people that are not good for you get farther and farther, and farther away from you. So at one point, or like when you have like antagonistic energy, at one point it's mm. your shitty stepmom, and mm -hmm. then another point it's a bully in school. So yeah. I do truly believe that like those sort of energies. Exist. Yeah, it was just interesting wow. that she picked up on a younger, and she goes there, and she told me she goes there are a couple people in your life that you already know this about, and I was like, yeah. And she goes, but this is the newest one. And I was like, oh, interesting. Wow. Uh, okay. We have to do this. Yes, yeah. we have to. And so we then she must. did my, um, with the coffee, and she said, she said that she pulled it over and she goes, this is a really good decision. She goes, you need to start putting product out with my artwork. She mm. was like, somebody, she, oh, Brynn, right. you're going to love this. You so she said, somebody you in that. your life has been pushing you to do this and <laughs> no. you keep ignoring it. And it, yeah. you need, me. it is me. It is. Now yes. that I'm thinking about it, you're the one who's been pushing yes. me. Yes. Yeah, you it is me. I like felt like Alex. Yeah, you a for list more than a year. I sent you a list of agents. Yes, oh I was my God, like, I totally just submit your this. work. Like, yeah, yes. she said somebody in your life has been pushing you to it. You need to get product out. Yes. And I was like, she says you're, you've been too scared because of something that happened in the past with your artwork. And I was like, you're so talented. You and like, you never this? talk about yeah, it on the no, show. And I'm always <laughs> trying to get like, and everyone knows how talented you are. But like, I'm always like, you could do graphic novels. I wish. I had Isn't that crazy? Yeah. So it ended really good, and then and it was like over, and I was she and we just ended up talking. Me and her were just talking about life, and it's amazing. And yeah. just sat there, and so after I left, I she's like, "I'm not gonna hug you," and I was, and my skin felt weird. I felt it was so sensitive yeah. to the touch, huh. and I felt weird. And she's like, "I'm not gonna hug you." She said, "Don't take a shower for the rest of the day because wow. you can wash off the energy." Um, she gave me these two juice recipes. She goes, she told me. Go get these juices. Drink one tonight, tomorrow. It's a detox. It's going to get all the crap out of your body. And she said, drink a lot of water. Um, she said, you're going to feel really crappy today. She says, you're going to feel off. Drain. And she says, you're going to, in a couple of days, you're going to wake up and you're going to be feeling great. And it, and it was, I felt, it, she's like, that rest of the day, I felt drained. Yeah. yeah. My body hurt. Yes. Wow. I felt like I had worked out for like hours. <laughs> the next day, I was so sore. And she was like, and she told me that was going to happen. And I was like. This is weird. It was the weirdest experience. We, okay, so trip. Eric and I have yeah. to do that. I'm yeah. a thousand percent in. Oh. She was such an interesting I woman, drink. like just so interesting. And the thing is, is like she lives in a beautiful home in Mission Hills. And I don't like I don't know her story, but I feel like she doesn't need to be doing this. Yes. Much. Like, <laughs> right. OK, so a thing yeah. that Diana said to me. Yeah. Oh, the, for anybody who doesn't oh, know, Diana was the psychic we did remember. Yeah. All three of us All did go us. back and listen to that episode. Diana was great. And then yeah. I sent my friend to Diana, and Diana, s my friend, was struggling to get pregnant. Yeah. Didn't think she would be able to get pregnant. And Diana was like, there's another little soul with you. Yeah. So, like, take care of yourself starting now. My friend got pregnant. <gasps> wow. I remember this story. Yeah. Yes. So, so Diana was, like, amazing. But Diana I, told me, like, yeah. 
if you don't do what you're supposed to do, we, I mean, like, and I've had a couple people say this to me that I also have like a little bit. I'm of the veil. Veil, yes. yes you're um, of the veil. But Diana was like, you need to start protecting your energy. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay, so her name is Azana. So she told me that I'm an uh, empath, that I yes. feel everything. Like yeah. She's like, words don't matter to you. You read vibe, you read pattern, you read intention, yeah. and you can read body. Like, <laughs> you're really good at picking up um, what people are, like, their energy. What and they're saying. And they're feeling. She saying says, it. But she says the other thing is you take on a lot of that emotion. So she said you got to protect yourself. Yeah. And she gave me like a thing to do like mentally before like going into a social environment. I and I was like, this makes so much sense. Like yeah. she's just like you're very like people could talk your ear off, but you don't. Words don't mean anything to you. It's the yeah. actions that people do and mm-hmm. like what they say. They're, they're and their they energy yeah, about their them. Energy, yeah. And yeah. I do the little chant that Diana gave me every yeah. day because she was like. I know that you think it's silly that people say this about you or whatever. Yeah. Cause you know, and then she's like, if I didn't do what I did, I would suffer for it. Huh. And then I was like, you know, so like, I think it's like with you, with your art, like if you don't yeah. do it, you're going to suffer. Yeah. And that's, yeah. Oh my God. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> that and is whether crazy. you believe it or not, that's up to you. Cause there's always <laughs> skeptics, yeah. but if anything, it was so interesting, and it was like a really cool experience. Like yeah. I left there going like, mm, "This will be good for the show." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, and it was just go such an now. interesting. We make so yeah, you offline, give us the info. And then yeah, yeah. it was it. such an interesting experience, and she was just a cool lady. Oh my good god, good vibe, like older, and like sh- it was just really like you went. It felt like I had gone to. <laughs> A family like my aunt's house or something. I was just sitting and chatting. So yeah, that is really like cool. truly the best. Like yeah. I don't want to say like psychics, but like empathic people or yeah. people with that sort of gift is like that. You, you walk in and their energy is just so open, and yeah. immediately you're like, I trust you. Yeah, you're comfortable. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And some people can do it, and they can so, turn yeah. into a con man. Yeah. Yeah. And some people can do it, and they can use it to help people. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's that's really true. Yeah. There it was like a cool. It was a cool experience, and I think. It's and I think it took me like a couple days to process everything. I bet because it was a lot of information <laughs> she was throwing, and like just the whole thing of like, how does this person know this? Like, right? Yeah, really. it kind of does. It's a little bit of a mind trip, right? Yeah. But it was it was interesting. That's it so was cool. a cool story. It's what not, an awesome know. experience, <laughs> right? So cool. That's what I did on my break. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, Eric and I went to Palm Springs. Palm yes. Springs, yeah. I did do something new. What? I started Ozempic. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes. yes, we have Talk talked about, about this. It. Okay, yes. how is it going? How did you start it? Give us the details. So I am on week three. Okay, um, and you look great. Thank you. I am down ten pounds. Yeah. Amazing. It's a weekly injection where you like inject into your stomach. Which which is weird, but I'm okay with needles to get it done yeah. by myself. Um, it's very interesting being on it. I am not. I'm. You get hungry, but then you eat a little bit, and the hunger goes away really? right that away. That is what I wanted to ask you. Yeah, because yeah. It, it is hard for me to imagine that you like. Even if you just don't get hungry, like there yeah. are periods throughout the day where you are like, especially in a relationship, where you're like, "Hey, honey, it's breakfast. Hey, honey, it's lunch." Yeah. Hey, honey. I, I was after. afraid I was going to lose the enjoyment of food because yes. I've read that, That's that people like lose yeah. it. Really? I, I have not lost it. I still love food, but I can. It, so in Palm Springs was a perfect example. Yeah. We went out to eat like all weekend long, but I would eat half of it. And then I'm like, I'm full. I, I think I'd rather save this for leftovers for okay. tomorrow okay. which i never do i never. always eat my, my entire plate too, is that yeah like portion control yeah put it in front of me i eat all of it yep and so it's it's been a really interesting process of just experiencing life of like especially being around caesar who just like eats so slow and eats like yeah. a little bit and i'm like oh i eat like how you eat now <laughs> this yes, is just weird slow and, and little because some yeah. people are just, just wired no, I'm just I don't. I don't. It's and a no. great way to lose weight before shows. <laughs> Is uh, it? <laughs> no, it's from um, Zoolander. Zoolander. Yeah. Zoolander. Um, but it is like some people are just wired. Though, yeah. Yeah. Where they're yeah. just like they eat until. I know. I think a lot of it has to do with how you're raised. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What has been the drawbacks? Are there any side effects? I. Like what has so, been the yeah, part th- of it? That's a great question. I so the biggest one that most people get is nausea. I have not had any nausea, which oh, I'm lucky. so grateful for, and I've lucky. even started to increase my dose. I also love the way that you say nausea. <laughs> nausea. <laughs> really? Hmm. 
I would say nausea. 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 Because I'm basic. Well, okay. Okay. stage, nausea. everybody. Nausea. 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 Okay. But I will tell you about some of the negatives that I do have. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. All right. I have some really smelly farts yeah. and ah! kind of a lot of farts. So what it does is it slows down <laughs> the way. Like that? Like that? Eric! <laughs> Eric! You're so skinny, God. but yeah. smelly. But smelly. <laughs> so it slows down the rate at which your food is being digested, Yeah. Um, uh, which means your food is older. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so gross. it's kind of older smelly. Could you smelly. make a kombucha? <laughs> <laughs> Can you make an Eric kombucha? kombucha? Yeah, and it smells like one. Okay. Uh, Wheatgrass and... <laughs> yeah. So that's side effect number one. Yeah. The other one that I have is constipation. Ah, <laughs> uh, you can't shit! Yeah. That's oh, the man. opposite of what I yeah. would think. No. I think you'd be like... So no. Be like it, it is like... You feel like you gotta go, but it... you. Don't. Got Don't it. do you take yeah. fiber or anything? Yeah, I do. I take fiber okay. and I take magnesium to help it out with that. Yeah. So Christ. it's weird. That is weird because I thought yeah. that, like, you lost weight by pooping. No, no, no. And so you, it just I, I'm gonna get you... really over personal. I do have IBS issues. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's actually kind of normalized me in a weird oh. way. Really? The constipation yeah. is like kind of fix the IBS stuff. So maybe you're not wow. constipated. You just got fit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I'm a little... This yeah. show, we get personal. I know, right? We're talking about shit. This is you know why? Because shit's funny. <laughs> 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 Fart jokes are funny. Yeah. Fart jokes are and funny. And now everyone knows my poop right but now. Do you, you have a go-to? Good. I feel yeah. great on it. I... I it's really interesting not having so much food noise all the time where I'm like, oh, I'm hungry. What should I eat? Oh, I don't want to eat now. I've, I've never eaten heard too that much food noise. Food, yeah. noise. food noise food of like yeah. when you're thinking about That's what you're going to eat. My and entire life, yeah. I guess, oh. it's just food noise. Yeah. I'm like sitting on the I computer and I'm like, damn day. Mm, I don't. I know. What? No. I wake up, I think, what am I going to eat? Yeah. I eat, I think, what am I eating next? Nope. I eat that, I think, what am I going to yeah. eat again? No. I'm typing life. at the computer. I'm like, I know there's macadamia nuts in yes, the cupboard. You I know what I do now? Maybe yeah. because I'm go whatever episode I'm in. I just go, maybe I should eat at some point today. No. <gasps> yeah. No. We are all so, no. different. And, We're so and different. The, and the thing, We're so different. And the thing. so alike. But the same. We're all pink inside. But different, but the same. <laughs> <laughs> we all look the same in the dark. I know. Mm. <laughs> and trusting <laughs> myself is a new thing of where, like, I, it, especially in the beginning, because I would be yeah. like, oh, I'm going to go out and go shopping. I won't be home for four hours. I need to eat now so I'm not hungry. But then I was like, no, I actually don't. I need to eat when I'm actually hungry. Okay. Yeah. And it was weird to like let go and trust myself. Yeah. So much of that is childhood conditioning. Yeah. Like yeah. you got to f- eat your whole plate. If you can't eat your don't plate, leave, then you don't yeah. eat anything. And yeah. after you eat, your reward is dessert. dessert. Yeah. And you're, you're going to get grumpy, if so you eat, eat now. Yeah. Like yeah. all yeah. of it. And I, I try not to do that with my daughter. I do try to let her just eat when she's. Hungry. Oh, I remember right. when we were kids. It was like you can't leave the table until everything's Every off your plate. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not hungry. Yeah. Yes, you are. You're yeah. not gonna get dessert. Yeah, yeah. Get some boiled <laughs> Brussels sprouts. <laughs> yeah, and it's like that's not how you do. <sighs> you know, everything evens out when we get older. But yeah. so much of what we're trying to unlearn is what we were taught as kids, which was like the trauma. We pay for this damn, damn food, food. Now you're eating yeah. it. Yeah, it's yeah. true. It's true. I, I people give me shit because I make two different dinners. Like I make the dinner that I want, and then I make dinner for my daughter. Yeah, and it's like, yeah, because I want to eat a fucking salmon salad, and I'm not trying to force my daughter oh, to eat right. that. Yeah, she yeah. Have mac and cheese and some peas, and that's <laughs> fine. Mac and cheese <laughs> and some peas. And they're like, it's not a restaurant. I'm proud she eats peas. And it's like, yeah. yes. Yeah. Well, I do force her. I say you gotta have some greens. Okay. So the I force peas a are little bit. starch yeah. balls. Or yeah. like corn, or like corn whatever. comes it goes corn. in comes out the same <laughs> I'm way. I'm not like boiling Brussels. <laughs> not on like a it does. Not it. on a <laughs> yeah. it's, it's been it's, it's like kombucha corn. <laughs> kombucha corn and Brussels, <laughs> Brussels sprouts. sprouts. <laughs> name of the episode. <laughs> oh man, should we should we do um what's her name? Peak pit. Carol. Oh, oh Carol. No, no. Yeah. Let's do Carol. Okay. We haven't done Carol. <laughs> I'm Carol. 
Carol, for once in your life, shut your damn mouth. Yeah, Carol. For anybody who doesn't know, Carol is our gripe of the week. Something we want to get off our chest that's pissing us off. Do you guys have a Carol this week? We haven't done Carol have in one. a while. Go ahead. Yeah. Right off the top. Go ahead. Get it off your chest. Do not bring an important business topic up at 4 p.m. on a Friday. Oh, yeah. that's the worst. Do not send an email saying, yeah. ASAP, got a roundtable, this real important business <laughs> thing happening <laughs> at 4 p.m. on Friday. Who We're did that? gone, bitch. Every, w- well, everyone, everyone quits on Friday. At Everybody 4 p.m. Mm. on Friday, they're like, hey, this is a great time to tell you. I'm putting in my seven days notice because no one does two weeks anymore. Mm. And they're just like, hey, just thought I'd pop it and say that to you, which causes chaos. Yeah. On yeah. So many you have it's like, so wait, much work to do. Monday morning. Like yeah. uh, Friday at three o'clock. No business should have no, no. new yeah. business. No, I, I mean, agree. Okay? Is a like, five day, five work day notice any different than a seven actual day notice that's the thing it's not it's not it's the but same yeah. people think it's like yeah. oh, no, yeah, but it's seven. also like don't don't do this to me like i don't care <laughs> leave on a monday or leave on a friday i don't <laughs> i don't care. care i don't care just don't make me have to get up and send more emails on a friday exactly afternoon. yeah just Fuck wait till monday you. morning you're not being courteous to me yeah i Mother don't fucker. care i don't care all right that's it yeah just don't start any new business other than listening for a ding in the background while I'm watching Real Housewives <laughs> in a face mask. <laughs> <laughs> I, I should not be it. working past 3, 3 p.m. at home on a Friday. What and about you, it. Eric? What's your, your carol? Um, so I think I'm going to have a travel carol because I've been traveling. And I don't know why, don't know the reasoning, but there's something about Mexico that is not allowed – Wi-Fi on planes. What? <coughs> what? It's like illegal, even if it's an American plane. Is this plane. like the air conditioning thing? No, 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 no. Uh, this <laughs> is actually like a law. <laughs> the air okay. So even if there's an American plane that flies over Mexican yeah. airspace, they have to shut off the internet. And I don't know why. That is what? weird. And I think they need to figure out how to turn it yes. on because yeah, it annoys it the fuck what? out of me. What? Yeah. Well, yeah. get my Carol, get ready. You know what? All these fucking conspiracy <laughs> theories about the world ending. You know what the newest one is? October 4th, you guys. Okay, this what is, is that? Apocalypse. Just explain, please. Uh, apparent, so, one, what is the national, like, FEMA? Or, or, I don't know. Well, they're doing some kind of tests on all the phones on the 4th. Like, uh, okay. all uh, okay, the okay. phones. But also, what's been going on in, like, the news and stuff with all of the solar flares, apparently, there's going to be a big one. And it's going to knock out all of the ma- the magnetic forces or whatever. Oh, yeah. like and it's going to yeah. ruin the satellites. And we're going to go back to the Stone Age without internet. No electricity. Just all us that. doing the podcast here with our mics unplugged. Unplugged. <laughs> just in front of a bunch of loin yeah. coughed men. Yeah. That sounds fine to me. Does it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if it's anything like COVID, it was kind of great. The the being at home. Not the disease. Not, not the, the disease. disease. But the being, being at home. But we wouldn't yeah. have yeah. internet. We wouldn't have electricity. Like, what would... We, what? we would put on little crazy. plays. We'd be great. We'd, we'd be, be so our, famous. We'd be would our we? parents. We'd be the we only be people, parents. like, in San Diego that have, like, do you want to come see our live podcast? <laughs> 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 we'd still be doing it yeah. with, like, no internet. Yeah. 100%. We're doing it yeah. with, like, a megaphone. It would be great for us. Yeah. Yeah. We'd be fine. Sure. But I, that's my carol. Like, it seems like every year there's a doomsday <laughs> oh, yeah. prediction. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're all going to die. The world's going to end, which yeah. it will eventually. But, I mean, yeah. honestly. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. is the newest one I thought. Like, oh, okay. What will I do? Probably yeah. Nothing. I mean, at least it's not the zombie apocalypse. Can I have a second carol? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go back to Ozempic and my farts <laughs> and poor As Caesar wizards. and poor Caesar. Poor Caesar. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if farts. Caesar was here, yeah. his Carol would be Ozempic farts. It's yeah, Ozempic I farts. think it would be. That's my second Carol. Maybe that's the name of this episode. <laughs> Ozempic, Ozempic farts. farts. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Shall we finish with Pick Peep? Yes. Peak Pit Buffalo. Let's do it yes. really quick. Go ahead, Eric. You start us um, off. Wait, let's uh, explain. <laughs> yeah. Peak is, this is for, should we do week or day? Week, I think. Week. week. Let's do week. Yeah. Um, your highlight of the week, your low part of the week, and the surprise of the week. I'm going to so do my peak. day for me. Just okay, go ahead. What is your good. peak, your highlight? So my peak and my pit were actually the same thing. My peak was... Um, ordering my new iPhone 15 Pro this morning, which nice. I'm finally going on to Pro. My pit was also ordering my iPhone 15 Pro this morning. Why? Because it was because a pain in the ass. The website was down. I called in. 
they fucked up on my mailing address. I had to call I back know. and cancel. So it was like a 55 minute phone call in order to order uh, a new phone. That which, sounds like a nightmare. Yeah. So that was that. also my pit. But my Buffalo has been uh, the podcast today because surprise. Yeah, yeah, I haven't like. But you I just we forgot gonna... like how, oh, how 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 great it feels to yeah. like talk to you guys. So. I know because we haven't seen yeah. each other. Yeah. I know. Yeah. yeah. What is your peak pit M Buffalo Brun? My peak is the podcast. <laughs> okay. It's been such a really long time, yeah. and I feel like my <laughs> mental health suffers when we don't do it. Uh, I know. We yeah. don't get like, we don't get to vent. And we just love being around each yeah. other and like creatively. It's like yeah. how we get it out. Yeah. Um, exactly. My pet, I guess, has been like my um, sense of self worth. Really? Yeah. Aww. I just have like not like I've looked in the mirror and just been like not liking what I'm seeing. You don't look in the mirror and go, mm. "You're hot." No, I don't. I you look in the mirror don't. and I go, "Look at you, you dumb bitch." No, no, yeah. I, no, 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 I don't. But I do like. I. You weren't looking in the mirror. mirror. You were looking at me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Why were you staring at Tony no. when you said that? <laughs> but you know, like you just sometimes you have those weeks where you just wake up oh, and yes, you're just definitely. like, "Fuck." I hear you. you. Know? Yeah. And so I, I knew, like, that's one of my goals for, like, the rest of this year mm-hmm. is to just, like, reestablish my relationship with myself. Okay. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. love th- I love that for you. Thank you. Thank what you is so your buffalo? Much. And then my buffalo is this weather. Mm. And I know that ev- my buffalo is always know, the weather. weather. <laughs> and and ca- Southern California a, people are always talking about the goddamn weather. We had a great weather. weekend. And then today was like cloudy, cloudy and then got muggy. Weird. Oh, and it I was don't sunny and TJ. It was, it was great. whatever. Yeah. And it's like hot, but then you don't know. I don't know. You know? Yeah. I'm it's loving weird. it. What about My you, Tony? peak, let's see. Should I do today or the week? The whole week. Yeah. It was a long week, though. Yeah, it yeah. I'll do it today. Was. Okay. Oh, we have a guest in the studio. That was a peak. Oh, yeah. Yes. One of my friends joined us. He's watching us today. Um, and my pit would be work. Work has been stressing me the mm. fuck out. My buffalo. Uh, what is my buffalo today? Oh, I had lunch with Melvin. That oh. was a surprise. Mm. I didn't think I was going to hang out with him today. That's so, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Is that cool? Hey, we're yeah. real people. We're real people, <laughs> you guys. We're real people. Um, but that is it for us. We got through the episode. Yeah, we're back. So hopefully, I think we have t- maybe two more episodes. Okay. Um, we've talked about them on the show before, but Pablo from Moe's, who has um, Home Away from Home, Moe's, writing those essays. I think he's coming on for a finale to that hang out with us. So yeah. yeah. Yes. For the podcast. Uh, but we're going to do two more, and then we're going to be on season break, you guys, for about, I think about, we'll come back at the end of October for Halloween because yeah, you know we'll I love Halloween a Halloween episode. yeah, yeah. A um, spooky episode our spooky and then spooky we get into the holiday season, season already <sighs> I know I know uh, we gotta uh, do our shade um presents shady Again. presents like shady. we did last yes. year that yes. was fun that was so fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for Christmas okay Eric how do people find you you can find me on Instagram at daddy bear Eric you yes. can find me on Instagram at a real brand map. There you go. You can follow me at Stony underscore baloney underscore macaroni on Instagram. We are Who Invited Her underscore podcast on Instagram. We're Who Invited Her SD on Facebook and Twitter. And you guys, we love hearing from you. So email us, the gang at whoinvitedher.net. Um, don't forget to go to our website. We have a bunch of merch on there for you guys to buy. And if you're watching us on YouTube, hit that subscribe button and give us a five star rating on yes, Apple please. Podcasts. It helps us out a lot. Yeah. Yeah. That's about it. We will see everybody next week. Bye. Some kind of wonderful, some kind of